name is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing so very well. Uh, today I want to do a really quick video on the grab and go from Lacau. I was fortunate enough to be sent one of these for review by the lovely Diamond and I had been lusting after it already. Mitz's one, her color combination is absolutely stunning. Stunning, and I had said to surprise me with the colorway and I absolutely love it even though I really am normally a brown sort of neutral tone I think the red with the pink stitching is just adorable actually matches my nails really nicely right now and it also I didn't realize it at the time but it's so much easier to see a red notebook in my bag um, and this is becoming the sort of household hub if you will um, I do uh, the majority of the grocery shopping in this house. I do the majority of the clothing shopping in the house. If something needs to be bought or purchased, it's usually me that's got to do it. Um, not because it's any other way, it's just how it happens to be. If I'm out and about and I realize Elijah has had a growth spurt, which he has so much lately, I am constantly looking for clothing to replace the things that have gotten too short. So I am constantly writing down his new sizes in shoes as well. He seems to be growing in all the places except for this way. Um, and he's just growing like crazy, like a weed, basically. So I've been thinking about creating a book that I can take with me or something that I can take grocery shopping with me because we are a lot lately and I don't know what's whether John and I are really, really busy. We keep forgetting key things when we go grocery shopping or we make a list and we forget it and leave it at home and then try and muddle our way through, come home and realize we've missed Raven's cat food. We've missed milk. Oh, I forgot to grab sugar and like things that are important to our everyday household running, stuff like that. And so I decided to, this would be the perfect little book to house all those sorts of things. And I also decided that it would be a great place to house all the certain uh, sort of, not points cards, rewards cards, all that sort of thing re revolving around food shopping and all that sort of stuff. So they're all in the one space. I generally have a lot of my points cards in this little pink uh, Adventure Time thing, but it is quite chunky. It is quite heavy and... I would be flicking through to find the right card. I have quite a lot, as you can see. I sometimes just take the cards out that we're going to be visiting that day, shove it in my bag. This is probably not the best thing to do, but it was. it's getting to the point where I wanted to have a space for all the grocery shopping cards, like Costco, maybe not Ikea, but I tend to always forget the Ikea card, always. Um, we have a bulk food shop that we go to when we can bring our own containers. Um, Woolworths is our normal grocery store, and also Coles with the fly-by point cards, which is very handy. I've also got a couple of my coffee card, the place that I get my nails done, and like where I get stamped for things, and I'm constantly forgetting my card as you can see I've got two for T2 my nail place I have several that I keep forgetting so I'm trying to put them into one place where I know that if I put this bat this book this notebook into my handbag it will have whatever I need it for that day and I decided that I wanted to make a cover this little notebook to pop in this is one that came with it as you can see the pages are perforated so I could essentially just rip these out especially with Elijah's sizes changing so much and grocery lists and things it could be a very um, disposable notebook if I wanted it to it has four strings so I'm considering also putting the kids um, online canteen lists because that's something that I'm constantly trying to look for we're a bit disorganized in our family at the moment hubby and I work both full-time jobs and we're always very busy we've got one child in high school one child in primary school there's a lot going on we have to be in a lot of places there's a lot of assignment work and things and tests and stuff it's all very new especially with Laiji in high school it's been a learning curve for us all um, and so now that they're at two different schools I have two different things to think about two different uniforms it's getting to the point where I'm a little bit overwhelmed so I wanted to have like a little bit of a hub I wanted to have both high school and primary school canteen lists uh, one is an order online one is not I thought about having coupons and things because I do sometimes get coupons for uh, our shopping with flybys and stuff like that and I kind of just I lose them 
I'm not doing so well in the organization. I have a planner, I do. It's an A5 though, so it's not something that I want to lug around in my bag all the time, but I think this little grab and go is the perfect sort of handheld size. I love that I can have all the cards in there. I can fit money in here, I just don't have any. I wanted to show money in here, uh, but I don't have any notes on me at all. I even said to John this morning before he left, do you have any notes? Because I need to put it in, I need to show that they fit. They do fit in here and I am going to put in some emergency $5 notes for the kids when we've suddenly, it's Friday, we've run out of a few staples, there's no school snacks left, stuff like that, and I send them with money for the canteen. I want to actually put a canteen stash in here because I feel like whenever they ask me if they can have canteen money for school, I don't have any cash on me, like right now. Um, so I'm thinking I might put a couple of $5 notes in here as well as the lists for both their canteens because they have wildly different canteen lists. Um, so I thought that would be a nice place for it to be. I mean, I have the canteen list on the fridge, but I think I'd feel a lot better if I knew they were in here, not sort of degrading onto the fridge because they get a bit crusty and a bit rumpled and having the money in here knowing that I've got you know a stash of five um, like twenty dollars worth of five dollar notes so that if something happens whereas the kids need money for school for canteen or whether a barbecue and stuff there's money there because we are becoming a cashless society most of it the most of the time and I feel like whenever I need to have some change or something like that I don't seem to have it these days I've always got my card so I think having a little stash of money there would be perfect um, I don't generally need it for grocery shopping maybe for the bulk food place but even then I normally just use my card but having a little canteen stash for the kids as well as their lists here I think is going to be something that'll be very beneficial to more so me than anyone else because I'm this setting this up is mainly for me because I am the household shopper I'm the one that buys the kids clothes um, especially if I'm out and about sometimes John's asked me to pick something up for him and I've thought oh no, I would t normally just text him but there are things like he needs a new pair of work pants but there's a specific brand and stuff that I need to go look for because they're his favorite so I kind of want to make some household notes within this thing that I know if I can put it in my handbag I have all I need in my handbag at a moment's notice. So I'm going to cover this little this little notebook because I'm going to use the notebook that came into it, came with it I should say. It is a beautiful red. I've kind of done a few close-ups for you. There is the tassel, but I didn't want the tassel because it just took up too much room in my bag. Um, but I know that Mitz loves her tassel, and you may be a tassel person, but I preferred it without because I just wanted to slip it in and it not get caught on a million things. I love how you can see that mine's patinering already. You can sort of see where the strap is. That may annoy you, but I think it's really cool. And plus, if you've got your strap there, you're never actually going to see it unless your strap's out. But as you handle it more, or if you don't want that patina, you can definitely put your strap in here and then just use your hands to sort of help that patina along. I love how nude leather patinas is one of my favorite things to witness. And I really love the color combination with the pink and the red and this uh, cool um, ribbon, not ribbon, elastic. I know Miss Vicky B is a massive fan of these for holding your pages open and I think if you're doing your groceries and you have a list which is what this is going to become, um, it will definitely come in handy. Also if you have uh, coupons and stuff like that, we don't get heaps of them in Australia. They're not sort of as popular as they are in the US but every now and again I get a like a coupon for flybys where if I buy a certain thing, I get a discount or certain things are on special and you get more points. And then we convert our points into dollars at Christmas time for Christmas shopping. So that's kind of where we do it. So if I can pick up an extra 10,000 points by picking up this product, I'll do it because I know at the end of the year, those points accumulate really rapidly and they really help with that sort of Christmas shopping, especially we have a large family. Um, we, uh, John's family and my family combined 
behind are quite large so we have a lot of shopping to do and we've had a little niece enter our family in February so it's just for it's just constantly growing um so I thought instead of just showing you the grab and go that I would collage my cover for my little hub notebook I am going to use my ollie clip decided that I'd pull that in here especially because it's such a strong sturdy clip can definitely clip onto anything that I need and I think I'm going to have sections where I have like a grocery list and I'm going to have a section at the back for the kids for each kid what they need what they don't need um, and their sizings because I find that that is going to be super helpful for me even though I generally know what size they are I also like to know if they're missing certain things so if I am out and about I know sometimes I get confused with Elijah his sizing is changing so much he's now in that limbo area where he's too tall for the boys section but he's also very very skinny for the men's section he's having a rough time he either looks like he's wearing a crop top or he looks like I've put him in the biggest thing I could possibly find in the house but I, he's just growing so fast and Boo's not that far behind so I think this is going to be great for me to have on hand to use and I think it is such a cute cute size and I love the color combinations canteen stuff in here because I don't want to put their school names up on the, on the camera but this is what my little book is looking like I have covered it with some clear tapes and big chunky uh, book binding tape uh, that way I know it won't get sort of bustled about it's going to take a beating being on the go all the time I have started a grocery list that we need stuff that we currently need now and then at the back I started putting down some of the things that I know that the kids will need and obviously I will as I get more inside the book I will put tabs where certain things are because once these pages fill up they'll move and so on and so forth um I will probably attach the kids uh, canteen things to these straps here or even put it uh, tucked into the back pocket and I'll probably put our coupons when and if we get them on here or when I'm out shopping I'll definitely have my um, stuff 
sort of flipped open like that so I know exactly where things are. But I am going to do an update video in about six months to show you how it's working, if it's still working, um, and I'll try and capture some uh, footage of me using it so you can see it in action. But I definitely think it's going to be a very interesting trial to see if it works. This is generally my first impressions and a setup video for how I envisioned it to work. Hopefully it's going to be awesome. I've already got really high hopes because I love that I can see all my cards. I know that my if I'm going out to do something food related or shopping related, I have the cards that I need. I have my little cards here so I can take my multiple point cards. Um, to certain places without saying do you have a loyalty card or a rewards card and i'd be like yeah i do but it's at home here here's another one um but this is what this little baby looks like so far and i hope to come back and show you exactly how it's patinaed uh this is what it looks like currently i love how it feels his nude leathers are one of my favorites I actually have another one that's got a nude leather on the front and um, it is so, so beautiful and I'll probably show that baby off when I do sort of a leather cover. Um, I got rid of quite a few covers recently, um, so my collection's gone down significantly, but I do absolutely love this and it feels really lovely in the hand. It's very, very well made. I was always impressed with how well made diamond stuff is. I love the pink stitching because I did say, did you have any pink leather? And he said, no, but I've got some things that I can do. So pink elastics and um, not just the elastic here, but like my elastic strings are a pale pink and the contrast pink stitching on the red Even though it's really hard to see you have to see it up close is such a nice touch I wouldn't even have thought of that uh, My glue is going everywhere from the collaging part, but I'm really excited to give this baby a test I think it'll work really really well. It's it's portable enough It's got all the cards that you need the canteen money. I'm hoping that is going to be a really good idea I feel like it's going to be it's going to help me feel more on top of things and more organized and having the kids sort of um stuff in here would be fantastic i've actually got that off off to the side of the camera and they will go onto those strings um I'm not sure whether I put them on the strings or whether I just tuck them in here because I'm not sure how they hold, will hold up on the strings. I think I might invest in a B6 Slim sort of folder type thing. I wonder if my... Um, if one of my little pouches... I have a little Miffy pouch that I have stickers and things in at the moment. But I wonder if it would be better used in here than housing stickers because it is a really cute size but I have a feeling it's too it might be too big but then again it might be oh it is it is just slightly too big otherwise it would have been really cute in there to hold sort of the kids canteen list and things that's a shame that's a shame but I don't have anything smaller so that was probably the smallest thing that I own but I'll have to look and see if there's any little folders or try and make one with all the YouTube tutorials that are around but I think a folder would be really handy to pop in here um, but yeah this is the look how grab and go in the beautiful red and nude with pink stitching i will leave the link below to where you can purchase one of these if you are interested but i wanted to just show you how i envisioned using it and i will do an updated video in about six months time to show you if it's still going well or if i've changed it or what will happen with this baby i think those are really interesting to watch it's always nice to see someone unbox something but it's always really nice to see how something works and is it working for you and is the addition the original idea that you have for it like me taking it for our shopping and stuff is actually what it's being used for or has it been shelved but I think it is absolutely stunning and I think it's going to be an amazing addition to my day-to-day -day shopping life 
or my day-to-day -day household running life, especially with all the chaos that's going on with our family. And I am kind of over forgetting to buy cat food. Poor, poor Raven. I'm constantly having to run out at nighttime to get cat food. And she is going through a stage at the moment where certain cat foods she just won't touch. So I've had to start listing the foods and the brands that she's stopped eating because I felt like we were just wasting money buying cat food where she would have to eat two bites of it and then look at me as if to say, human, this is not what I want. So that's another thing that will be going in here brands and certain types of foods that she won't currently eat at the moment she doesn't want anything to do with any chicken at all whatsoever so i've had to write cat food wet cat food not chicken so <laughs> i have to remind myself of these things because when i'm aimlessly going down the aisles of the grocery store i will suddenly pick up chicken because i assume she eats the little chicken breast off cuts that i do when i'm cooking but when it comes to actual chicken cat food she does not want a bar of it but then in a month's time it'll be all she'll want she is such a diva man so those types of notes are what are going to go in here because i am tired of wasting my money or i'm tired of buying something i either have five cans of in the cupboard thinking i don't or I think I've got five cans in the cupboard. I come home, go to cook a meal, and that one ingredient, like the core ingredient, which I thought we had five cans of, we currently have none. And this has happened too many times. So that is definitely what I am going to be using this for to try and help me minimize what we purchase also to write down places that let you bring your own containers and that sort of stuff because that is becoming more and more important to us in our family so having a little log list of that will be really important as well so i hope you've enjoyed my little video and my little collage notebook session i hope that uh if you decide to pick one up let me know what colorway you get i really really love mitz's one i always i i may even buy Mitz's colorway because I love the sort of caramel and nude but the red is just so beautiful it's the only red red cover I own uh, and I think they make a lovely pairing especially with the pink but man Mitz I every time Mitz shows hers on camera is nice anyway thank you so much for joining me links down below if you're interested also the links to the facebook group have a wonderful day guys and i'll see you again soon bye i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day i'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken Take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday